Hi guys, Angela Holland here with Broad Strokes Home Design and today we are doing a DIY project that anybody can do. It's taking these basic lampshades and making them to a fun custom design. What you're going to need for this project is your lampshades, your fabric, spray adhesive, a glue gun, flexible tape measure, a marker, lighter, scissors, and whatever trim you decide to do. To start, you're gonna to wanna to measure your lampshade. So you're gonna measure the circumference, and then you're also gonna to to add a little bit over. So I added about a half inch of layering over this. So this is about 18 inches, and then I measured here, but you wanna wrap your fabric around it a little bit, so I added a couple inches, so it's seven. So I'm seven inches by 18 inches. And then to make it easier, I made a pattern with some cardboard. That way I can just trace this out on my fabric and then cut it and that way I don't each time have to measure a new rectangle that'll wrap here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to measure or use my pattern here, take a marker, then I'm going to trace this. And now that that's traced, I will take my scissors and then cut out that shape. Next thing I'm going to do is take the spray adhesive and I'm gonna spray the fabric and then roll it on the lampshade. Then I'm gonna use this line here, the seam, and then I can put it on. Little trial and error is fine. I'm gonna try to get similar spacing on this side, okay. And what's nice about this adhesive is like, it's not like as soon as you go, it's not permanent. So you can like pull it if you need to pull it. Then I'm just gonna kind of roll it and then just smooth it out as I go. And then there you go. We're nice and wrapped. So now it's nice and wrapped. The next step is to fold all the edges and secure that with hot glue. I'm gonna be using a low temperature glue gun. Um, it's hot glue, but it's just a low temperature one. I think it works fine. I don't think I need the extra heat that the other ones provide. And I, um, if I touch the glue accidentally, it doesn't like burn like the other ones. I mean, it's hot, don't get me wrong, it'll burn a little bit, but it's not as intense. Um, so I'm going to, I don't know if you can really see this, I'm going to do like a squiggle so I can really get down there. And when I put that over, I want to make sure I'm pushing so it's nice and um, taut and it's not loose at all. You don't have any loose um, at the edges. Okay. And I am going to do a slit, cut a slit where these bars are just so it lays a little bit nice a little bit nicer. All right, so it is all wrapped here and it is ready for the decorative fringe. So I am actually doing two layers of fringe. This is a fringe and then the other one's like a beaded trim. Okay, so I'm going to give a clean cut here on the end. And then this type of fringe and a lot of trim honestly frays really bad. So I'm just gonna take the lighter and it's gonna melt it a little bit and it's gonna make it almost like a hard plastic and that will keep it from like unraveling. Okay. And then I'm gonna use this seam here in the back that I have from my velvet fabric and this is gonna be the seam for everything. So that way when it's on the wall, that can be towards the wall and then everything else will be nice and smooth. So I'm just going to use my glue gun and glue this on. I don't know if you guys know this, but 
glue guns are like DIYers version of duct tape. Okay, just needs cleaned up a little bit. Static needs to go away, but this went from boring to fabulous. It's really cute. I love it. It's gonna be perfect in the space. Putting it with these really cool blue sconces we have. I can shove it in there. Like this is going to be such a fun statement piece. There's gonna be five of these in this space and they are just worth the DIY, on budget, but very cool.